A strengthening tropical storm Chava is set to strike China as a typhoon on Saturday. Update 2 on Tropical Storm Chaba, which has been strengthening over the last 24 hours. It's now located at 18.2 degrees north, 114.0 degrees east. This is as of 10 a.m. in China Standard Time this July 1st, 2022. We're looking at winds of 60 miles an hour with a pressure of 985 millibars at this time. It is moving northwest at a slow movement of 6 miles an hour. This slow uh, movement speed is expected to continue for the next days, unfortunately. As of right now, this is where it is on the map. It has a pretty large wind field with winds extending 130 nautical miles to the northeast, 140 on the southeast, 110 on the northwest, and 70 nautical miles on its southwestern quadrant. In terms of distances, it's 256 miles away from Macau, 318 from Haiku, 274 from Hong Kong, 290 from Dianbai, and 376 from Bobai. That is 411 kilometers away from Macau, 421 from Haiku, 440 from Hong Kong, 466 from Dianbai, and 604 from Bobai. There are yellow typhoon warnings in effect for the areas that are going to be seeing a landfall soon. We'll be covering that in the cone shortly. I'm mainly going to be looking at the Hainan Peninsula and areas just east at this point. So with that being said, here are the intensity estimates. We have it with 60 miles an hour, which is following the JTWC, ADT, and ATMS. Uh, SACCON is with 65 miles an hour. We would have put AMSU here, uh, but they have not updated since 11Z, and as a result, they have it much weaker, only 40 miles an hour. This is the latest come from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center from its 21Z advisory, so this is expected to get updated eventually. Uh, but we are looking at a typhoon peak for this. 75 miles an hour is what they're running with. Before it does make landfall just east of the Hainan Peninsula at that intensity before rapidly weakening. However, if you notice, this slow movement is going to be sticking around here. There's not going to be much, which is going to contribute to some really heavy rainfall, and it is definitely the biggest threat for anyone uh, that is going to be dealing with it, along with the gusty winds that are going to be prolonged as a result of its large and expansive wind field. Here it is in terms of sea surface temperatures, it's dealing with very warm sea surface temperatures. In fact, temperatures are near 30 to 31 degrees Celsius uh, around where it is right now, which is very ample conditions for it. Um, definitely going to be one of the things that helps uh, Chaba strengthen in the coming two days before it makes landfall on Saturday. Rainfall, as I said, is going to be a massive uh, deal breaker with the storm. You can see areas in the darker brown getting over 400 millimeters of rain, so high than all the entirety of the peninsula, as well as areas even further inland. Uh, are going to be seeing a lot of rain for this, and wind shear is pretty much next to nil uh, where Chava will be heading into. So areas that are only getting 10 to 15 knots of shear at best, uh, that is going to be the environment that Chava stays in for the foreseeable future. And you can also see Irie to the east there. In terms of intensity miles, for some strange reason, GFS is the only one that has given anything for the multi-model diagnostics. So you can see it does peak at around 80 miles an hour. Wind shear that is expected to remain around 10 to 15 knots up until landfall. Wind shear does drop, but at that time it will be inland and pretty much dead at that point. Sea surface temperatures are slowly dropping up until landfall, but are warm enough regardless, and relative humidity values are remaining relatively high. The only thing that's going to be stopping at this point is land interaction and its large size. Here it is on satellite imagery. You can see it looks looking pretty impressive. It's got the look, uh, the classic spiral structure uh, continuing to develop there. Uh, but you can also see the extent of its outflow going all the way into Vietnam, even though this storm is very well in the middle of the South China Sea. Uh, cloud cover already starting to fill in for parts of the eastern Hainan Peninsula, and the convection is just insane, minus 90 degree uh, cloud tops, and there's just a lot of negative 70s and 80s all across the storm. So this storm is uh, looking pretty good, especially after two months of inactivity in the Western Pacific. It looks like the season is reminding us all that it is for sure still the Western Pacific season, and things are set to continue.